Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8 Sierra Tango November here from Survival Tech Nord. Today we're in Kilo Papa 26 Joliet Tango, or Tango Joliet, I forget which one it is, uh, near Rovaniemi, near the Arctic Circle in Finland. We're going to be testing out a couple of different antennas, but I think for this video we'll focus on the Wyndham 40 from Chameleon Antennas. There's a reason we're going to focus on that one for this video, and you'll understand the reason why at the end of the video. So stick with me, and let's get started. You are listening to the Emergency Broadcast Systems. This station broadcasts emergency news and official information on the air for a sign If you're one of my Instagram followers, you'll already know that I've been working with the Chameleon Wyndham 40 for a few months already. The idea was to remove the antenna tuner and interaction with it from the system. This way we could have a standalone system with scheduled band switching that's independent of an operator or an antenna tuner. I wrote a blog post about this when I started the project and I'll link that in the description so you can catch up with the background. Now just as important as the Chameleon Wyndham 40 is the portable Whisper and Digimode test environment. That's what you see on the right side of the screen. Links to both of these projects are in the description. So what we get when we put these two systems together, the Chameleon Wyndham 40 and my portable Whisper and Digimode test kit, is a powerful antenna testing and Digimode system. But now it's time to take this system out into the field and put it all through its paces. To do that, we came up to KP26 Tango Joliet near the Arctic Circle. For this rapid deployment scenario, we had four objectives. Number one, make our way to our operating area. Number two was to set up camp. Number three was to deploy the Wyndham 40 in NVIS configuration using the natural elements and surroundings like trees and things like that. And number four was to use our portable whisper test environment to prove the NVIS effectiveness. Now certainly we achieved our goals, but before I show you those results, I want to give you a short breakdown of the whisper test environment. So the portable Whisper Digimode kit is actually quite simple. It consists of the Yezu FT817ND, the Zulu Lima Papa Micro Pro SC audio interface, the Ultra Pack 4S 48 Watt Do It Yourself 18650 battery pack, WSJTX giving us Whisper, Whisper 2, JT9, and JT65. FL Digi and FL MSG for Digimode comps and emergency communications. With all of it running on the Asus Echo 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 PC 1000 Hotel on Ubuntu Linux. Now let's take a look at the Chameleon Wyndham 40 and its specs. Like many other Chameleon products, the Wyndham 40 is built rugged and tough. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's ultra light, but I will tell you that it's pretty much unbreakable. Total length of the Wyndham 40 is 66 feet. That's 22 feet or 6.7 meters on the short side and 44 feet 13.4 meters on the long side. It's built using a 5 to 1 balloon and housed in waterproof casing. It's got a power rating of 100 watts CW or 250 watts SSB. The Wyndham 40 includes 10 feet or 3 meters plus 3 meters of 550 paracord on each leg. Additionally, it's got 20 feet or 6 meters of 550 paracord for stringing up the housing. Finally, three wire winders and a canvas bag are included with the Wyndham 40. Well, I have absolutely no regrets about the results. I definitely knew those other stations wouldn't be set up in Invis configuration to receive me. 
Hitting six out of the eight stations that I expected to hit actually means my test was a success. Even more so because I used such low power in the field to achieve the results. So look guys, if you don't listen to anything else I say, listen to this. Get outside and get your field experience. One final point before we close down this video. Chameleon Antennas has been kind enough to offer my subscribers a $20 discount and free worldwide shipping for those of you who want to order this antenna before the end of the year. I guess we can think of this as Chameleon's way of saying thank you to my subscribers and viewers for giving them the support that we've given them. Send your email to support at chameleonantennas.com. Alright guys, that brings us to the end of the video. Don't forget to like us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, support us on Patreon, find us on Pinterest, Google+, and of course survivaltechnology.net where we share lots of news, information, and articles from our channel buddies. Finally, if you've enjoyed this video and you think I deserve it, please give me a thumbs up and share this video with someone who might enjoy it. Alright guys, rock and roll. Thanks for watching.